I would be just as excited to sit at home and watch in my pajamas, but to hear NASA actually give the authority to go for translunar injection, it's just amazing that we're sending humans back to the moon. This spacecraft might look familiar. Sierra Space Dream Chaser served as a spiritual successor to a now retired space shuttle, but is four times smaller. The DC 100, measuring 9 meters in length, is expected to dock at the International Space Station this spring. Sierra Space emphasized that its space plane restores the capability to return spacecraft to standard runways, eliminating the need for tailor made spaceport and launch pads. Its first uh, spacecraft, the Dream Chaser, into orbit to chase down the space station, drop off, start dropping off stuff, and down the road they foresee perhaps tourist flights or even uh, once commercial space stations come about to replace the International Space Station, um, they could be delivering crews to that. So they have a, a lot of goals that they've got in mind besides just starting out taking groceries to the space station. Another spacecraft slated for inauguration next year is Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket. Unlike the New Shepard, this suborbital spacecraft, currently used by the company for space tourism, is launch vehicle mean to orbit the Earth. It is named after John Glenn, the first American astronaut to reach orbit. Blue Origin states that its first stage will be reusable at least 25 times to reduce launch cost. Out of Cape Canaveral, right over that way, um, hopefully in the spring, by the middle of the year, its brand new New Glenn rocket will finally lift off to hoist a payload into orbit. Now, what's going on with Blue Origin in Texas is they go up and they come down, you know, 50, 60 miles, barely touching space, coming right back down, taking experiments and also tourists and also researchers, that sort of thing. Um, now, New Glenn is designed to actually put things into orbit. American aircraft giant Boeing is also poised for the first crew flight test of its reusable Starliner capsule. It is designed to take astronauts to the International Space Station. Coming up at the end of 2024, fingers crossed, uh, four astronauts, three Americans, one Canadian, will actually go around the moon in the Orion capsule this time and then come back. And that should set the stage for the next mission being the actual moon landing by another crew of astronauts. Um, and and it, a lot's riding on SpaceX getting its Starship um, ready in time for that. Uh, 2025 is maybe likely an optimistic date, so stay tuned for that. But uh, for sure, by the end of 2024, we should see astronauts flying to the moon for the first time in more than half a century. 2024 should end with a crew mission around the moon in a mission called Artemis II. Artemis I was an uncrewed lunar mission that took place in late 2022. With its second iteration, NASA is going one step further 